Tyson was shocked by the power of this monster. Mike Tyson is one of the most brutal and ruthless fighters in the history of world boxing, and his knockouts caused wild, inexpressible fear in his opponents and great excitement in the audience. At the prime of his career, the entire heavyweight division was shaking with fear in front of Tyson, but there was one opponent who was respected and even feared by Iron Mike himself. This relentless killer who knows no sense of mercy is named Donovan Rodak. He was on a streak of 15 straight wins. Moreover, in 13 of them, he brutally knocked out his opponents, taking their souls. He comes out of the door, followed by an upstart, and then links and rechts. And there goes he, through a combination of Razor Reddick, who natuurlijk in the second round, and rechts, and he full door comes. And that heeft the scheidsrechter good gezien. Donovan Ruddock, who had the nickname Razor, used his signature smash punch in his fights, resembling a hybrid of a hook and an uppercut. This punch literally cut out all of Razor's opponents. That 10 pounds, if this fight goes any distance, puts it very, very good. Oh, right oh, there right right in the left hand. It was a short. His power was so terrifying that major grandees of that time, including Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, and Riddick Bowe, avoided fighting him. Tyson signed a contract to fight Rodak, and the bout was scheduled for November 1989. But suddenly Mike pulled out of the fight, claiming he had bronchitis. And less than three months later, Tyson faced Buster Douglas. Holyfield also refused to fight Razor and chose as an opponent. The great, but already aged, George Foreman and the rising star Riddick Bowe refused to take the fight without explanation. Many people thought that Tyson was afraid to cut himself with a razor, and that's why he didn't accept the fight. Waiting for his opportunity to face Iron Mike, Ruddock did not sit idly by and brutally demolished three opponents in a row, spending less than eight rounds total on all of them. By literally committing genocide in the heavyweight division, Ruddock left Tyson no choice, forcing Mike to accept the fight with him. Shortly before that, Tyson shocked the world by receiving the first defeat in his career, being knocked out by number seven in the world rankings, Buster Douglas. After that, people started saying that Iron Mike is not the same anymore. He has changed and lost confidence because he is no longer undefeated. It all depends on Mike, how, how he's gonna, if he, if he wants to fight again. That's always been my question. Do you really want to fight anymore? Because you fought like you didn't want to fight. Before their fight, Ruddock was very self-confident and did not restrain himself in expressions. To say that over and over that it's not going to be a tough fight. It's not going to be as tough as people say it is. But deep down inside, he knows it's going to be hell. Additionally, Ruddock emphasized that he was stronger than Tyson. I think I can punch harder than he does. And I think that I can block better than he do. Razor's overconfidence made Iron Mike so furious that he replied in an emotionally charged manner. If he doesn't die, it doesn't count. If he's not dead, it doesn't count. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! On this day, the eyes of all the fans of this gentleman's sport were glued to the TV screens. Ruddock's words hit Tyson's home, and this confrontation has already become for him a principled one. In his turn, Ruddock could not wait to beat the great opponent in the face of Mike Tyson and get a ticket to the elite of world boxing. Interest to this bout was fueled by the fact that the winner would automatically get the right to fight for the title. From the very first seconds of the fight, it was noticeable how both boxers were trying to finish each other sooner, loading up on every punch. It's missed. The big question, can Ruddock with the court? He threw his bomb. Oh, all right. Fight. Tyson set the pace of the bout and fearlessly entered close range to Ruddock, devaluing his powerful striking. We are heading for the bout. Early in the second round, Tyson made a lightning lunge and hooked Ruddock with his foot. The referee didn't see it and scored the knockdown.
Donovan's words about having the strongest punch may have been true, but Tyson's uncomfortable style didn't always let Ruddock work in his usual manner. You do not want to get in there with Tyson. He's got short stubby arms. Rodex snapped back and hit Iron Mike with his trademark smash. Mike then reminded him why he was called the baddest man on the planet, forcing Ruddock to sit on his buns. But luckily for Rodak, he was saved by the bell. Despite the onslaught from Tyson, Rodak didn't break down and continued to believe in his devastating blow. In the seventh round, Rodak let his guard down for a second, fleetingly becoming an easy target. Tyson took advantage of the moment and made a swinging bell out of Razor's head. The referee abruptly stopped the fight, registering technical knockout. But in the view of many, it was an early stoppage. Mike Tyson was celebrating the victory, while Donovan Rodak and his team were clearly showing wild displeasure with the early stoppage. And that's what I don't like. And he stopped it too early. And Tyson came over and said, you shouldn't have stopped the fight so early. You should have let, you know, the fight go on. Your partner's here, right. all right? Can you see the whole um, alliance that's there? The first opportunity that he got to stop the fight, he right. stopped Tyson the fight. Again. Well, good, I'll be glad to give him a fight. I feel no man. You know, I, I feel sorry for those guys that want to take on a guy like me, the killer of many. <laughs> this stoppage caused a strong reaction in the boxing community. Given what was happening, an immediate rematch between the heavyweights was called for. Iron Mike's final decision in the rematch was influenced by the words of champion Evander Holyfield, with whom Mike wanted to meet in the ring as soon as possible. I don't think he should have stopped it that way because there's a, a big fight and, and you take away a man's dream to stop a fight and he don't even hit the canvas. As a result, both sides managed to settle on the organization of the second fight. The fighters exchanged pleasantries in which Tyson was quite successful. The world couldn't wait for the second chapter in the rivalry between the elite heavyweights. I dare you talk to me like that. You should, you should get up and kneel to me now and I spare you the night of the 28th. <laughs> <laughs> I would have to say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come uh, ready. You understand? Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know you why you ready. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. <laughs> The rematch took place just three months later. Tyson went into the fight full of determination and was ready to literally eat Ruddock. He was going to end all unnecessary controversy and beat the false confidence out of Donovan's head. Round one, scheduled for 12. The fighters met again, but meeting quickly turned into beating. Iron Mike was so eager to finish his opponent that he didn't hear the gong, but the immigrant from the rough streets of Kingston didn't let himself get hurt. And they continue after the bell. Razor Ruddock made no changes in his game plan from the last fight, time after time trying to target Tyson's head with his smashes. For his part, Iron Mike's tactics were as simple as five pennies just destroy his opponent down. And already in the second round, Tyson forced Ruddock to bend his knee. I dare you talk to me like that. You should, you should get up and kneel to me now and I'll spare you the night of the 28. Rodak didn't give up and got back in the fight, continuing to snap back at Mike. Now he's got to attack. Ruddock must attack. There's another. And then the left, the smash. However, in the fourth round, Tyson cooled Razor's ardor with a counterattack and sent him to test the softness of the floor. There goes Ruddock again. Let's look at it from this way. Completely unprotected. There goes the right. That should have put him away. And the crowd reacting on the... The fight was going Tyson's dictation. However, in the sixth round, what all Iron Mike's fans feared has happened. Ruddock finally landed his famous smash. He's being ejected by... The blow was so strong that Mike's mouthpiece flew out of his mouth. It looked like Mike was finished. Rodak, who buried almost two dozen opponents with this punch, probably already imagined in which trunks he will fight for the title. But Mike ate that punch like a lunch. 
Apparently, this moment really pissed Tyson off, and he arranged an all-out domination over his opponent. He smashed Ruddock's face time after time, hitting him with crushing blows. There were occasional episodes where Donovan managed to hit, but it seemed that Iron Mike didn't feel those punches. Well, it does rain, but it pours. Now that he's got a two, ten, eight. In these moments, an aura of invincibility surrounded him. He intended to put a final point to the Redux Chronicles. This continued right up until the final moment of the fight. In the end, the man who promised to finish Tyson with a smash was brutally smashed by Tyson. Gladiators of the modern world embraced and showed respect for each other. Despite his height, Tyson looked ahead taller than Ruddock. But one thing was certain, Iron Mike had met an opponent with whom he could compete in primal brutality for the first time. Unanimous decision. But Donovan Rodak should also be given credit. It turned out that he spent most of the fight with a broken jaw. Even so, he was able to hold out against the legendary Iron Mike till the end. That was the last time the audience saw a prime Mike Tyson. After this fight, there was a series of unpleasant events that led him to be accused of rape and imprisoned. Apparently, out of the numerous belts won by Iron Mike, he was missing one, the chastity belt. After spending his best years in prison, he would never be the same again. And Razor, having apparently lost his former sharpness, would later lose the most important fights of his life. But nevertheless, Mike Tyson and Donovan Ruddock presented the world with a spectacular fight and the brightest story, which will be remembered for all time. Friends, who do you think was the toughest opponent in Tyson's career? Write your opinion in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you 